Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. It is a honor and a pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. And I'm so excited about what we're going to share with you today. Uh, listen, you know that I have been talking about the Watchmen for oh a couple of months now and I am honored that I'm gonna have a conversation uh, with a true woman of God uh, Pastor McCoy praise the Lord she's gonna share with us and we're just gonna go into conversation about where is the watchman for today's church so much is going on and it is time that those who have that call those who have been given that assignment would show up for their assignments so that we can intercept some things that are going on upon the earth. So welcome and help me say welcome to Pastor McCoy. Just say hello to us. Hello. Hello. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, so much I want to cover and I've been in this book uh, praying for the impossible. And it talks about the watchman, and it leads us over to the book of Ezekiel when Ezekiel is being called as the watchman. And his instructions from the Lord is um, that a, a watchman is one who listens and looks out for the sound of the trumpet. Mm -hmm. It's not just for uh, to release a word of a blessing. Yeah. It's a warning. Yes. It's also correction. Mm -hmm. So when the trumpet sounds, those who are called as watchmen, we are not supposed to rest. We're not supposed to give God any rest either. No. Uh, we're supposed to always be watching as well as praying. Mm -hmm. And so I want to dive into that. Um, and I do know you to be a woman of God of prayer. Mm -hmm. So uh, tell me about that. I, I We were getting ready to talk about how we... Uh, when you go into another ministry, uh, you immediately, you're looking spiritually. Yes. So share that with me. As I go to different ministry, I'm always observing, looking at, I don't know, I always say I'm being nosy, but I just have to go and scope the whole thing, the whole congregation out. They're just me. And you know, I got, and God called me for that work, but I've been slacking. And I ask God, forgive me to my disobedience because he called me to be a watchman. That's what I do. I'm a prayer warrior. Amen. A lot of times the enemy try to bound us as being prayer warrior because that's what God called us to do, an assessor. And I, and I always say, God asked you to help me because I fell short of my calling, what he called me to do. And that an enemy knows the calling that God have on our lives and if he can attack us and sidetrack us to get our mind focused on other things more than what we're supposed to be focusing on. We know the call of God. We know what we God has called us. I know I know what God is calling me to do. Amen. But up to me to be obedient unto him. You know, because a lot of time, a lot of soul require to our hands. And a lot of time we will give the soul what they need, just like Pastor was saying. How that when God had called us to do a certain job and how we go into ministry and we see things that's out of order and we know they out of order, they're not right. And we would sit sit on the gift because then God to put a word in our mouth to say something, but we'll freeze up because we we're in a premier, uh, an unfamiliar place. And I guess back then they say you can't say nothing, you out of order. Mm -hmm. I said, but when God is in charge, we is in order. I know that's your house. But back then when we was having church, the prophet just came in and give a word. God said, speak. And we spoke. Now they, they want everything to go accordingly. You know, I thank God. And that bothered my spirit. I go to a lot of ministry. How things being ran, they not in order with God. A lot of stuff you see is out of order. And I said, Lord, I said, am I being nosy? Or I just see too much and I be trying to put people's stuff in order at their at they house. And I have a problem with that. I know that even I went there visiting one time mm -hmm. and I see some stuff out of place. 
and not begin to be a problem with me. Because mm -hmm. of what they the leader, if I can come in this house and I can see what's going on is out of order, then why ain't the leader seeing these things that are out of place? So I, that's my problem with ministry, period. So that's why a lot of time I don't go like I used to go. Mm -hmm. I begin when I want to go, then all of a sudden, then I stay home. Uh, you know, here here's where, for me, immediately when I walk into a ministry, my spiritual antennas are, they are up. And one thing that I learned a long time ago, if he allowed us to see it and hear it, it becomes our assignment. Yes. But do I necessarily have the release to say something? Because... When we go to a ministry, especially if we just visit him, that leader, they don't want to hear it. So if I don't have the release and I ask the Holy Spirit, what am I supposed to do with this? Sometimes I've seen some things and I'll be like, why you show? Why did? And I'm talking to the Holy Spirit. Why you let me see that? And, and so I'll just go and intercede and pray. Yes about it. Mm -hmm. I tell anybody now, listen, I know I'm nosy. I'm nosy in the spirit. I don't want to know your personal business <laughs> per se, but I want to know where you are spiritually. Mm -hmm. I want to know within a ministry because I'm sent to work with ministries. I want to know the strongholds. Mm -hmm. That's my level of nosy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I'm sent to you and I'm only coming because he sent me, I want to know what's my purpose. Mm -hmm. I, I'm asking what is what is the ministry's vision? Mm -hmm. What's my part in the vision? Um, I'm also asking um, what are their strongholds? Mm -hmm. Then I know how to strategically pray. Mm -hmm. Because if I don't know the stronghold, if he mm -hmm. doesn't reveal that, then my hands are really tied. Mm -hmm. And so no they're not going to openly indulge to you everything. Mm -hmm. So I got to pray about it. So mm -hmm. that's why I, listen, I come out and tell you, listen, I'm nosy. I'm nosy in the spirit. I don't have, to, I, I don't want you to lie to me about what's going on. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is going to reveal what's going on. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yes, when I go in, I immediately, I'm looking in the spirit. I am. I am nosy. I am nosy. <laughs> so uh, we have that in common. Yes. Amen. Yeah. And um, and so as you were saying, how, if the stronghold could hold us. Yeah. Uh, I want to say about two years ago, I had a dream and it was me and my son. Mm -hmm. And we was like sitting in this place and there was about four young men sitting in back of us mm -hmm. now their lips weren't moving but i heard them talking mm -hmm. okay and i'm listening they're plotting to get my son mm -hmm. but i heard them say once again their mouth's not moving but i hear them if we can get her if we can hold her down we can get him that is what the enemy desires yes. to do. Yes. If he can bind and distract the watchman, yes. he got a window in. So mm -hmm. I'm going to leave you with that tidbit to take <laughs> it from there. Because because that's just and good. You're right, Pastor, because I have experienced that. Because once you be called of God, and God done, done so much for us, and we see in the spirit, like you were saying earlier, and then I met, never forget this time, or uh, uh, a lot of stuff was going on in ministry, and then how we used to be so tuned into God's voice, He would tell you just that move of the enemy. That's how he used to do me. I used to, I mean, I used to just lay out and just talk to him like I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. I had that relationship with him, and man, I could talk to him about any and everything. I would lay there talking to him for hours, and I missed that. Yes, I missed that talking to God like I used to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> talk to him. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, that relationship with him. Mm -hmm. Even before I got married, I told him you pick my ring. And I said, as I walk down the aisle, you walking with me. Mm -hmm. I was so in tune with him, caught of that prayer life that I had. But the calling, he, he called him, and I that and that began to bother me now because it seemed like it's slacking. Mm -hmm. And I don't have that yearn like I used to have for him. 
-hmm. And we got to get back to laying before God, praying and seeking his face and see what the next assignment he have us to do. Okay, if ministry, whatever, right. or somebody going through something. I said, all this stuff happening here, where is the watchman? Yes. Then we not, I, I, we not, something is missing. Yes. So this stuff shouldn't be going on like it is. Right. Because we're not doing our job as leaders, mm -hmm. as watchmen on the wall. And I used to always watch stuff. I do. I can go to some, I just watch. I don't know if just being nosy. I just like to watch. And I, I observe where, my, where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who minister I go and I always observe. You know, I thank God, even when he could have me to go out to help ministry mm -hmm. and how, and I said, Lord, why you send me all the way to Camden for three years to help a leader? I never met him a day in my life, but God sent me there mm -hmm. to help them with their ministry, build their ministry up. Right. And after that three years, then he released me and, and I came back down here and then started working with other ministry. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? And all the and all the time, a lot of time people get jealous of your gift or anointing or calling on your life. You know, I God sent you to help me, but still in the um, by me helping you, then you still fighting at my spirit. Yes. You know, you fight me and I'm coming to help you, not to harm you. Mm -hmm. I come to be a help and always end up getting the 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 bad stick of the whatever they call it. You do. Always. Always. Let me touch on that. Uh, I was sharing with a spiritual sister, I want to say about two weeks ago, and she was talking about the same thing. And, and as we were talking, this was what dropped in my spirit. When the leaders are praying for help, okay, the answer is not going to come on the level that they are on. <laughs> because if you had the answer, you wouldn't have to ask for it. That's it. And so whenever truth is revealed, rejection is present. Yes. So whenever God is releasing truth, rejection is, is right there to kick against it. Mm -hmm. And I was saying to her, I said, listen, the answer that uh, leaders that uh, we seek mm -hmm. is not on our same level. No. He needs to, to send an answer that we didn't have access to right. on our own. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what makes it really, really hard is when they kick against the help. Yes. To say, well, first of all, you prayed for help. It's not coming in the formation that you want it. No. He's going to release a vessel who is open and willing and mm -hmm. obedient mm -hmm. to go on the assignments. Yes. Just like he did with Daniel. Mm -hmm. uh, Gabriel mm -hmm. told Daniel, from the moment you set yourself to chasten yourself. Mm -hmm. God released the answer. Yes. It was held up. Mm -hmm. But your answer was released. Mm -hmm. And I'm come now to give you the answer. Mm -hmm. It's same thing with us. We yes. pray. We seek his face. We mm -hmm. ask the Holy Spirit to reveal the answer from heaven. Mm -hmm. And when it comes, it ain't coming the way we want it. No, it's not. It ain't coming from the person. Listen, we want it in this beautiful <laughs> package the way we want it. Mm -hmm. And we want the answer to match our expectations. Mm -hmm. But God's ways are not our ways. No, it's not. And his thoughts are not our thoughts. No, it's not. So when it comes, and we don't like the way it comes. No. Because first of all, it's going to come with some correction. Yes. That's the fight. Yes, it is. Because that flesh is saying, I just wanted an answer. I ain't want no correction. No. <laughs> Where the, the, it might, the answer might come, with, come up a little higher. Mm-hmm. Yes. Spend more time in my presence. Mm -hmm. Get back on the path in which I started you from. Yes. Or you haven't completed this yet and you're trying to get to something else. Mm -hmm. We don't want those kind of answers. No, we And do so not. they're fought against. But then a ministry can't move forward. A ministry can't grow. Why? Because they can't get beyond that. So I have I have felt that too. Mm -hmm. You you sent to a ministry for a certain period of time, and you already know this is an assignment. Mm -hmm. I ain't come to stay. Nope. And I have learned to say, Lord, give me the strength to complete my assignment. Mm -hmm. Cause I can't go nowhere. I can't go to the next until I complete. Mm -hmm. I didn't start to stop. No. So give me a clear view of what I'm supposed to be doing here. Mm -hmm. Let me do that. Mm -hmm. It's up to them to receive. That's it. But in, when I deliver, I want to do it in your name. That's right. 
Amen. So, Amen. so, so that's that watchman. And so what you saying, you feel that tug, you yes. feel. So is it a fight to get back to that place for you? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and it can be, yes. um, when you, because especially when you're being hurt and wounded, when you be hurt and wounded, it seems like you can't get over that hump. Okay. So. And, but you're called by God. That's it. So I know for me, I, uh, with one ministry, I was dealing with some frustration and I was sitting on the edge of the bed and the Holy Spirit said to me, your job is just to deliver. Mm -hmm. The frustration I was feeling was, um, I've given you what you asked me for. And I'm thinking to myself, you ain't using it. And I was frustrated. <laughs> What is what is wrong with you? Why you keep Okay, so I was to be honest with you, and I'm very transparent, I was in my feelings. Mm -hmm. And I was sitting on the edge of the bed and listen, I wrote that note on the back of a card. That card is still in my wallet till today. <laughs> and that was about two and a half, three years ago. Oh, wow. And once I gained that concept, I am to deliver. The call on my life is to uh, yes there's some tearing down mm -hmm. there is some rebuilding there is some restoration once i deliver it's out of my hand when i received that in my spirit and i reminded myself of that that frustration that hurt mm -hmm. let me tell you something it lifted off me like you have no Praise God. it lifted off of me mm -hmm. it really did yeah. and i'm like okay well guess what I did what was required of me. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm not allowing that to bother my sleep at night. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, I share that mm -hmm. with with other individuals who are sent to ministries because it can be hurtful. Yes, it can be very hurtful uh, when you know I'm just coming to help. Mm -hmm. And here's something else I want to touch on. They're not fighting you. No, they're not. They're fighting. It ain't even them. Nope. It's the influence and of the enemy. That's right. Because he on his job to do what? Steal, steal kill, kill, and, to destroy. and destroy. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then I had to learn to pray for the one who's coming after me. Yes. Because one plant, one water, but he give the, the increase. increase. Mm -hmm. So, for me, I had to tell myself, their all is not coming through me. Mm -hmm. I'm only here for a portion. That's it. And I want the other one who coming after me, I want them to fulfill what they're supposed to do. Yes. So it's been some lessons. Yes. And being a watchman. Yes. It has been some some great lessons. So mm -hmm. um, I've had to go back to Jeremiah. And like you were saying earlier, getting back to that place where we can hear. Yes. So I've been taking my time and coasting through. Because that is where, when I was identified at walking in the prophetic, mm -hmm. the instructions given unto me by my mom, Pastor Wilson, mm -hmm. we were talking. And she stopped me at conversation. I don't know what we were talking about. But she said, God said, why you want to prophesy? Why are you scared to prophesy? <laughs> you never told you need to. You know what my answer was? What? Because I don't want to lead anybody astray. That's me. Same thing. I didn't want to give anybody my words and my opinion. Yep, that's me, Pastor. So I wouldn't say anything. Me either. And her next instructions were for me to study Jeremiah. I love Jeremiah. Yes. Yeah. So when I went back, so every now when I need to hear from God, when I'm going to that next level, mm -hmm. I always go back to Jeremiah. Mm-hmm. So last week I started back in Jeremiah and just like you just said, so I know that was confirmation mm -hmm. getting in that place where we need to hear. Yes. And so <laughs> just that word where God saying through Jeremiah, what fault did your people have in me? Yes. What fault did your fathers have in me mm -hmm. that they turned away from me? Yes. That's where we are today. Yes, we are. That is where we are today. Um, also where he says to them, I remembered your youth. Mm -hmm. You know what that took me to? That 
verse took me back to when we first accepted Christ. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> we were on fire, girl. We were. <laughs> we let nothing get in our way. Nothing distract us. Mm -mm. Nope. <clears throat> we were at the church. Yes. We were in prayer. We yes, were, fasting. We, oh, wait a minute. Don't even talk about the fasting. Keeping ourselves yeah, anointed. Hunger and thirst. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we wanted to share the gospel. Yes. That youth. That's and it. I've read that several times over the years. <laughs> but last week, he began to give me a revelation of what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. I remember the youth. Yes. When you came to me. Yes. When I delivered you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You wanted to tell everybody. Yes. <laughs> but now we hide it. Yes, Pastor. And it's a shame. You mm -hmm. we don't want to tell nobody no. what mm -hmm. we were delivered from. Mm -hmm. Because after we've gone up, I'm gonna say notches and levels in Christ, mm -hmm. and we got a position, mm -hmm. some wanna act like they've been there all their life. Yes, they do. And all we tell them, where you at? I've been where you at. But some stuff you done doing, I do not, I never done, so I can't say nothing to that. But mm -hmm. I was a, I had babies out of wedlock. Mm -hmm. A lot of time we want to hammer those young people, but forget about where we came from. We done the same thing. Mm -hmm. Sin is sin. So, and I remember the time, Pastor, when, um, when God, when I first got saved and really seek, I was seeking God's face. He's waking me up. <clears throat> Seven something in the morning. I said, Lord, I said, Gee, where do you want me to go at today? He mm -hmm. said, I want you to go to Salem. There's a backslider. I want him back. Jesus. And I went to, on my way to Salem. And um, he was an evangelist, truck driver. Mm -hmm. And I went to Salem to his mom. He wasn't there. I said, mean to tell God you sent me all the way with Salem for nothing. You told me to go. And I was obedient. But as I was walking out the door, he was walking in the door. And I said, God, you know, that's why that's what I missed mm. about my life with Christ. And then I said, Lord, where do you want me to go now? He asked me to go to my, she wasn't my mother-in-law then, but go to her house and have to repent. So I went there. I mean, that's why when you get saved, you be on fire for God. And he had to repent, you know, before a day she passed. Wow. But thank God for being obedient. That blood wasn't on my hand. That's why a lot of time we have to be scared to tell people, uh, offer them to Christ mm -hmm. or you save or just, they can just see the Christ in you. And I thank God. And I ain't been, um, and hear me, I used to never go to, um, somebody invite me to their party. For people that I raised up, we were raised up as children in Port Norris. Mm -hmm. And then she had me invite me to a party. And most of the time I won't go to a center. And God began to speak to my heart. He said, I always was around sinners. Right. And then they and then she said, Could you come here and bless this food? I said, then I and I bless the food. You never know who watching you. We can't act like we got it all and right. forget they sinners, they need Christ. And so we got to be the light. I don't care what they doing around us. Mm -hmm. We yet got to be light. We yet got to be saved. Right. And stop yes pushing the sinner man away. Cause they watching us, then they figure. Well, what you too good to be around me or whatever? Mm -hmm. You know, it's a it's a lot. It it really is. It's a lot, and we forget we weren't always on this side. That's it. We were throwing the party. Yes, at the party. At the <laughs> but if we remember back in that day, we ain't had nobody in there praying <laughs> over the food. No, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't we have didn't. it. No. So I look at that; those opportunities too. Those are opportunities, God-given opportunities where mm -hmm. you are in the midst mm -hmm. and they recognize the God in you. Mm -hmm. They respect you and they say, can you bless yes. the food? Mm -hmm. So guess what happened when that happens? Mm -hmm. the, ste the seed of faith has been dropped. Yes. Mm -hmm. Somebody in there might not have heard the name Jesus. That's right. Mm -hmm. Somebody might have might have had her cover and protect us. That's right. Shield us and protect us as we've come in and we getting ready mm -hmm. to. You just covered. Yes. 
by the blood of the lamb. Mm -hmm. By not being so proud and yes. saying, I can't go because yes. I'm so holier yes. than now. We ain't partaking in what they're I doing. used to be like that yeah. when fellowship with them. But still, they need Christ. Yes, they do. Christ hung around the center. Yes, he did. But we don't want to hang around. A lot of Christians want, they're too good to hang around them. Mm -mm. No, we, we were once in filthy rags, That's too. That's it. And somebody prayed for us. Yes, they did. We didn't come right away, but we came. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. So I think that's where the watchman has been shifted. Mm -hmm. And they are so in their own little box. Mm -hmm. Me, myself, and I. Mm -hmm. And God is calling us and waking us up. Listen, there's 24 hours in a day. Mm -hmm. And every second of the day. He waking some, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. He's waking, he getting somebody attention. Yes. I need you on this second. I need mm -hmm. you on that second. Yes. I need you on that second. Mm -hmm. Somebody on this side of the world, he got somebody else on that side of the world at that same second. Mm -hmm. And if we would just show up, we are unified in the spirit. That's it. And the Holy Spirit will lead our prayers. Mm -hmm. And we can intercept some stuff. Yeah. We can sound the alarm in the spirit. That's right. You're right. But listen, we listen, we turning over, we ain't getting up. We like, uh, uh uh, wake up and, and what get up. You talking two or three o'clock in the morning. Yes. Now you say he would wake you up at seven. Mm -hmm. About my time, I you I'm usually awakening up between two and three. I'm up all the time through the night too, Pastor. Yes. And, and I have learned Apostle Wilson, my dad, he uh -huh. said to me a couple of years ago, he said, when the Holy Spirit wake you up, he said, if you say, if you sum, just quote the scripture, I submit myself as a living sacrifice, mm -hmm. holy and acceptable right. unto you, yeah. which is my reasonable yeah. service. Yeah. I am here. Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. speak to me, talk to me. Mm -hmm. He said, and wait. Wow. And so I began to pray and say, I know not the scripture. Mm -hmm. I know not what I ought to pray for. How you ought. But if you would lead and guide me, mm -hmm. you know what need to be said, what need to happen in prayer. And I will just wait. Mm -hmm. I sit up. <laughs> Listen, I'll grab my phone <laughs> and play solitaire. Something right. But I will get up and I will wait. Uh-huh. For him to lead and guide me mm -hmm. in prayer, that that watchman. Mm -hmm. But I can I can only imagine the experience, the joy when you wake up, like you said, you wake up and you say, "Where you want me to go today?" And he said, "Oh, I got a soul over here." Yeah, that oh God. Yeah. See, that's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. For me, I ask. Because for, for radio and then for television ministry, I always say, what are we sharing today? Mm -hmm. What do you want to say today? Mm -hmm. Like every Tuesday is my day of intercessory prayer. Okay. So about a month or so ago, versus being so general, mm -hmm. I now say exactly what are we interceding for today? Yes. Today, what about fear? Yes. So, it, spiritual fear. Yes. We begin to, I begin to talk, look up what is spiritual fear? What is that stronghold? Mm -hmm. And so today, we have to decide I'm going to do something different. That's right. I'm not going to entertain the conversation of doubt. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to play with anxiety and worry. Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to play with shame. Shame has no presence in my presence. Mm-hmm. Because he hasn't given us a spirit of fear. No, we haven't. But of power, of love, and of a sound mm -hmm. mind. Mm -hmm. And so today, I'm going to do something different. You know what my different is going to be? Mm -hmm. My different is going to be, I know you got a purpose and a plan. Yes. Now, if you would release what you want me to know today, mm -hmm. those instructions and those directions, if mm -hmm. you will release it to the Holy Spirit, yes. he'll reveal it unto me. Mm -hmm. So we have to shift Mm -hmm. because fear is from the enemy. Yes. And I'm not talking about how we're supposed to fear the Lord. That's referencing him. Uh -huh. But that fear, that spiritual fear that comes from the enemy, enemy. to hold us back mm -hmm. 
Because if I won't move, I can't give that word to help somebody yes. else. Right. Somebody else is getting that same call like you got. Mm -hmm. Go over here, go over there. And guess yes. what they saying? I ain't going over there. Mm -hmm. What they going to say? Yes. They don't want to hear me. <laughs> you right. Uh -huh. And we shouldn't want them to hear us. That's your God. Hear God. That's right. Deliver the message and went, listen, deliver I'm and go the on. the mail lady carrying the message. <laughs> That's my right. friend, um, my um, my cousin, mom, she's always said, God gave her that for me. He said, I'm, a, I'm he called me his mail lady. I said, his mail lady, just delivering the mail. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. She, she always tell me that. Amen. If you are just tuning in, I've been in a conversation with this awesome woman of God, Pastor McCoy. Very dear, very dear. She knows my parents, been knowing her for a very long time. And and you know what? Um, coming up, I remember, and I was so young when I <laughs> lived here in New Jersey. Um, I believe when we moved here, I was six. Oh, Wow. Yes. And we stayed, we lived here for a year. We moved back to Florida uh -huh. and uh, now being back as uh, assistant pastor over at Faith Outreach Church and um, expanding here with radio and television ministry. I never, I never saw all of this. Mm -hmm. I did not. I would always say, you know what? I wasn't even going to stand in front of anybody and teach. <laughs> Let alone You're preach. A good teacher, though, pastor. I wouldn't. That I said they can get one of these books I wrote. They can get it that way. Um, I didn't even see radio or, or any of those things, especially assistant pastor of a church. Mm -hmm. um, I'd be like, where did that come from? I just from? want to be a lay member. I don't like to put me on the. I'd be obedient to right. them to go up there on the pulpit or mm -hmm. whatever. Right. I'm not. You want to sit with the people. I'm a people person. Just say I'm in the audience. I don't like to be up there because you see too much. I mean, I... I'm going to say that. Do I like sit with my back? <laughs> I, you know what? You Actually, you do. When you're sitting up there, um, you see and hear everything. And a true watchman, I don't care how you try to mind your business. Yes. Yeah. You hear stuff that don't nobody else hear. Yes. And in the listen, in the midst of preaching and teaching, you will hear a pin drop. Mm hmm Because I do it all the time. <laughs> I hear. And in thinking back, I remember when we were in Tampa mm -hmm. when uh, my dad's ministry, Charity Light House of Faith. The the church could be flowing and and, and <laughs> service could be going on. And here I would be. I always had a notepad and a pen. Mm -hmm. I'm in the service, but I'm listening. Mm -hmm. And I would write. Mm -hmm. If someone gave a prophetic word to the ministry as a whole or to them, I would write down what they said. Yeah, that's my problem. I can't seem like I lose that thought. I can hear it at the beginning, mm -hmm. but then later on, it it going out of my mind. Okay. I can hear it. Yes. And I would write it down. Yes. And somebody, they would ask me, how with all of the music and whatever going on? A <laughs> friend of mine like that too. Mm -hmm. I'm in the service. Yeah. But I'm tuned in. I hear. Mm -hmm. And uh, another thing that he allows me to see, um, he allows me to hear and see a person's vision. Mm-hmm. And so a person could be standing up talking and ministering. And you know, when you're under the unction of the Holy yes. Spirit, you're just talking. But guess what? He don't let me catch wind of your See? of your vision. Mm -hmm. And it has happened that afterwards, I've gone after service and say, um, here's some information. You mentioned this is what you wanted. Uh -huh. It's a part of your vision. I've had people to say, when did I say <laughs> that? I don't even remember. Don't worry about it. I caught it. He allowed me to hear that. Uh-huh. And here you go. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I've had people to look at me like thinking, there's one lady told me, she said, I thought you were absolutely crazy. <laughs> she said, I kept asking my husband, when did I say that? When did I, she said, now granted, that is our vision, uh -huh. but I don't remember saying that. Mm -hmm. And um, she, they were, they wanted to do a school of ministry. Mm -hmm. And um, I gave her the information and she came back 
later they they got it established mm -hmm. I just gave her the information I said this is what you do this is what you do mm -hmm. you can get established mm -hmm. and um, she told me she said I tried to do everything to prove you wrong mm -hmm. I called the people I gave her the phone number I said call them <laughs> she said I asked them what's the process she said and how you told me that's how it was she said that's exactly how it was mm -hmm. and then she said and then you gave me the information and I ain't hear from you. I said, because my job was to deliver, deliver. that. Mm -hmm. He allowed me to hear. Mm -hmm. I gave you what you needed. Now you do with it mm -hmm. what you will. And But she just kept, she said, I don't remember saying anything. Mm -hmm. I said, you said it and God let me hear it. See? He let me hear it. And so whenever I come in contact with individuals or ministry, mm -hmm. I'm so nosy. Let me tell you what I do. And this is what the Holy Spirit led me to do. Let me tell you how nosy I am. And this is funny. This is really funny. If I'm working with several ministries at a time mm -hmm. and individuals, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit had me to list all of them out. Mm -hmm. And so I begin to say, what is the common denominator? Mm -hmm. Each one. Mm -hmm. what's, what, what's the common denominator out of all of them? Mm -hmm. And then when the Holy Spirit allows me to see the stronghold, mm -hmm. then I list it. Mm -hmm. But I do that kind of homework. Mm -hmm. What are they facing? What's the common? What, what do they have in common? What's the common denominator? Mm -hmm. So I etch out all of that mm -hmm. so that I know how to pray. Mm -hmm. That's just how spiritually nosy I am. <laughs> Because we don't have time to waste. No, we do not. And I believe in assignment. Mm -hmm. I really do. I believe in assignment. So when he had me to do that, I'm like, if I were to share or show this notebook to somebody, they would probably think, you are absolutely crazy. Who actually <laughs> goes to that extreme? We got those examples from the old prophets. Yes. I mean, them prophets didn't play back in them days. You hear me? They didn't. Sure. They didn't. And think about... They ain't get no permission either. No, they... Listen. Jeremiah thrown into a dungeon. Yes. Look at all what Ezekiel had to go through. Yes. So, no... And I believe that the same power and authority... Yes. Is still relevant today. Yes, it is. The reason why it's not happening, you know why? Mm -hmm. Because we don't believe in it and That's we won't it. walk and operate in nope, it. Nope, nope. He says he give us power, all the powers are in to give us power to cast out demons and devils. Mm -hmm. And up to us to do it. It is. It is really up to us to do it. So when it hit me, it's been hitting me, watchmen, the watchmen. Mm -hmm. And then like you said earlier, the oh God, the order of the church. Yes. I cringe when I see and hear things in the spirit mm -hmm. and I'm, and I listen, I'm repenting and saying, <laughs> Lord, forgive us <laughs> because what happened to the order? Yes. And yep. the honor. Yes. If they had to fix the showbread. Yes. And it had to be set a certain Some way. way. What make us think today mm -hmm. we can do communion and just I remember I went um I forgot what oh I went to some uh, church and they had uh you won't let anybody and everybody touch that let anybody if they, you, I, they were throwing the cups of the, the communion cups I say and then people were giving them out. Boy, they ain't even born again. I said, Lord, I said, boy, I be sitting so much. I said, Lord, help me. I said, God, it's just terrible. It, that, it, it is. It is. Um, even, I mean, back then we were doing communion. I mean, we did the whole thing. We You, you didn't get put that uh, sanitizer. You washed them hands. The consecration. <laughs> yes. We went through consecration, even and we in did the foot wash and everything. We then did. they don't do it. They don't do, don't do it. Even to the ones who prepare the the table, mm -hmm. you go through consecration mm -hmm. before that. That yeah. that Old Testament taught that. Yes, it done changed stuff. So it people, has it people has changed. changed. God didn't change it. 
No, he has not. Mm -mm. He's still in his word the way. He, but. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that is, I've, I've been studying that, and, and I know that uh, we talked about this. What has been, what, two months ago with mm -hmm. me sending the invitation for you to come mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and do radio? But I am one, I love God's timing. Uh huh. And so I learned to take it out of my time. And mm -hmm. so when he gave it to me, here's what happened. I was supposed to uh, start back reconnecting and having different ones on radio mm -hmm. a year ago. Mm -hmm. And he told me about reconnecting. Mm -hmm. I did it one or two times. Mm -hmm. I left it alone. And one day I was laying across the bed and I was praying and meditating. And um, he heard, I heard it in my spirit again, mm -hmm. that it was a, it was time for a shift mm -hmm. that I needed to be obedient mm -hmm. um, because I never want to tell anybody that I'm always dotting the I's and crossing the T's. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. No. And so I got up immediately. Mm -hmm. Now, when I sent out those first set of invitations, I said, who am I sending it out to? Mm -hmm. Us, when, I, when we send stuff out, we want it done right then. Mm -hmm. No. The invitation was supposed to go go out. He has his timing. Timing, yes, he does. Or when he wants it to happen. Mm -hmm. I just had to be obedient. Yeah. And so I was like, Well, you know what, Lord, your time is in your hand. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm you know me, I ain't gonna push um or, or do anything mm -hmm. because he knows what needs to be discussed mm -hmm. at the right time. Yes, he does. And and with this watchman being on me the way it is, mm -hmm. um, listen, we, I'm just going to set myself in agreement with you mm -hmm. that you can get back to that place. Yes. Because it is needed. Yes, it is. It is needed. Get back to that place, getting in his presence, mm -hmm. going back to listen yes. um, and allowing him to lead and direct you. Mm -hmm. And and so you, you follow my heart so often. And I kept saying, um, because I'm, I'm really, really careful about who I connect with mm -hmm. in the spirit to do ministry. Yes. And so I was like, OK, God, if, if this is what you're going to put together for us to do some ministry together, mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you do it. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I greatly appreciate you. And, um, yeah, I'm like, okay. You, when when I heard you outside, <laughs> let me tell you something. I was uh, getting ready to, um, uh, I was going over my calendar and saying, okay, I need to get some stuff lined up. Mm -hmm. And um, and then I heard your voice and I was just laughing. I'm like, this is just... <laughs> This is just too funny uh -huh. um, that she is literally here mm -hmm. and I am looking at my calendar saying, okay, Lord, I need this lined up, that lined up, that lined up. Mm -hmm. And little old me, he just honors. See? And I was saying, I said, I'm going to the hair store. I said, and I went all the way down Chestnut and I said, no. And I said, I go back to park. I was going to go with this uh, fast, um, uh, Pastor Allen, go mm -hmm. and see her. See how they doing. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm here. <laughs> God. Well, to God be the glory. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. And guess what? I do know we're going to have a chance to come back and talk about this even further. Mm -hmm. Part two. But know that um, you are, I know I'm in your prayers. Yes. You, you are, are definitely in mine. And every now and then when he tells me to send out a text of mm -hmm. an uh, inspirational mm -hmm. quote, um, I'm like, you know what? And I um, needed it. I'm just going to send it out. Uh-huh. Amen. 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 <laughs> I know exactly which one you're talking about. And um, for those who got it, some came back to say, wow, I needed that mm -hmm. right then. Mm -hmm. And I thank God that when he gives me those words, mm -hmm. he He knows and yes. he just lets it release. So um, we got some work to do in the spiritual realm yes. as watchmen. Mm-hmm on the wall we definitely we got some work to do so um i'm looking forward to it i am too amen amen we thank you so very much for joining us today here at the balance of life and like i said we will gear up for part two with this awesome woman of god i thank her so very much uh for being obedient to the spirit and uh listen today i did put her on spot 
because she just stopped by and I said, <laughs> let me go get ready. And we're going to do some radio today. Stay encouraged, encouraging others along the way. Have a blessed day, everyone. We'll talk to you soon.